Hello to all incoming grade 7. In this lesson, we will be discussing about introduction to sets. And you will encounter different definitions and terms in these sets and set notation. First, let us define what is a set. A set is a well-defined group of objects called the elements. Sets are denoted by braces, so this is our symbol for braces, and commas, so this is for the comma. And we can define set in two ways. We have the roster or listing method and the rule method. Let us first discuss the roster or listing method. Let's say we have a set A, and that is equal to X such that X, please repeat on how to read this one, X such that X is a vowel in the English Alphabet. Okay. Again, this will be denoted by our braces or comma. That's why we use the braces here. Again, let us repeat on how to read this one. Set A is equal to X such that X is a vowel in the English alphabet. Now we're going to use the roster or Listing method. From the root word, we're going to list. So our A is equal to what are the vowels in our English alphabet? So we have the A, E, I, O, U. Then close braces. Separated by comma. And of course, we use the small letter A, E, I, O, U for our elements, to indicate our elements. And the capital letter to indicate our set. Let's say we have X such that X is a color in rainbow. So we have the Roy G. P. F. Roy G. P. F. Red, orange, va, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So you're going to list those in our set. Now let us proceed in our rule method, or the second way to define our set. The rule method, let's say I have set B is equal to, uh, let us write the given red, orange, yellow, I will use a small letter, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, Indigo and violet. Okay. We know that these are the colors in a rainbow. So using the rule method, we're going to write B is equal to X such that X is a color in a rainbow. This will be our rule now. Now to further understand, let's have some examples. I will answer number one for part one and part two. Then you will answer the remaining exercises, the number two and number three. Okay? So for test one, for the part one, list the elements of the following sets. 
I will answer number one. A or set A is equal to X such that X is the day in a week. Days in a week. So that is A is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't forget to enclose with a bracket sign. Okay? So days in a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For test two, use the rule method to describe the following sets. Number one, A, North America, Asia, South America, Australia, Africa, Antarctica, Europe. So we know that those are the seven continents. So A is equal to X such that X is the continent in the world. Seven continents in our planet. Or the seven continents in the world. Now, I want you to answer number two. Number two, set B is equal to X such that X is a whole number between 10.75 and 19.25. Number three, Set C is equal to X such that X is a month of the year that starts with letter J. And for the part 2, number 2, set B is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And letter C, uh, number 3, set C, April, June, September, and November. So you can post this video, then start answering. Then let's check later. Now let's check your work. For test one, B is equal to X such that X is a whole number between 10.75 and 19.25. So B is equal to, take note between. So between those numbers are 11, so we are talking about the whole number. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Okay. Those are the numbers in our set. Or our elements are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Now let us see. X such that X is a month of the year that starts with letter J. So we have January, February, no, that's not end with, I start with letter J. March, no, April, no, May, no, June. Next, July, August, September, October, November, December. So... Let's end with July. So January, July, and June. Did you get it? Next, test two. Set B is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. D, dual method. So X such that X is a multiple of 10. Or the first is a multiple of 10 that 
or we can say that our elements are the x such that x is the first five multiples of 10. Is the first five multiple of 10 that starts with number 10. Number 10. Okay. Next, set C. April, June, September, and November. So, C is X such that X is a month of the year with 30 days. We know that April, June, September, and November, those are the months with exactly 30 days. And we will also encounter the following terms. We have the finite set. A finite set is a set with limited number of elements. That means we can count the number of elements that can be countable. The second one is the infinite set. A set with infinite numbers of elements. That means, that means we cannot count the elements in that set. Third, we have the empty set. That means there is no element in a given set. And fourth, we have the unit set. A unit set is a finite set that contain one and only one element. This time, I want you to answer the following examples in our whiteboard. Tell whether the set is finite, infinite, empty, or unit set. You can pause this video if you want to answer. Number one. Perfect square numbers between 10 and 90. Number two, x such that x is a negative integer. Number three, x such that x is a negative integer between negative 1 and 45. Four, whole numbers which divisible by 11. Five, number of vowels in the word fetus. 6. X such that X is a student in your class. 7. B is equal to 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and the ellipse sign. So you can pause the video. Then, if, since you are done, now let's check your work. Number 1. Perfect square numbers between 10 and 90. Can we count the elements, the perfect square numbers between 10 and 90? Yes. That means this is an example of finite set. Next, number two. X such that X is a negative integer. Can we count those numbers? Negative integer? Negative numbers are infinity numbers. So, this is infinite. Number two is infinite. Number three. X such that X is a negative integer between negative 1 and 45. Do we have a negative number between negative 1 and 45? None. So, voila. So, this is empty. Empty set. Or we can use the symbol. Okay. Or this one. This is the empty symbol. And this symbol also known as the null set. N-U-L-L. Null set. Or the empty set. 
Number four, full numbers which divisible by 11. So we have a plenty of full numbers which is divisible by 11. So we cannot count, so that is infinite. Number five, number of vowels in the word features. Can we count the number of vowels? Yes. So this is finite. Six, x such that x is a student in your class. Of course, you can count the number of students in your class. So it is finite. B is equal to 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. This is the ellipse sign. The ellipse sign indicates infinity. So this is infinite. Infinite. I hope that you understand that. Finite, infinite, empty, and the unit set. And that is the introduction of sets. Please watch our next video. The union set, complement of a set, and the intersection of a set. And of course, the subset. I will um, insert the link in our description box so that you can find the orders in our topic. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and I hope that you learned something in this video. Master your grade 7 lesson because this is your foundation for the higher mathematics. Please share to your classmates and don't forget to subscribe in our channel. And hit the notification bell in order for you to be updated in our upcoming videos.